not the big one. Dusty Road. Dusty Road. Okay. So if you know it, what his name is, let us know in the comments. And maybe you'll kind of get a gist by what we have going on here. We're going to use God Bless America by Cartabella Paper Company. Okay. Now, before I Pam turn. Pam already got it. Who? Pam got it? Lee Greenwood. Yeah. yeah the first one I saw. <laughs> Oh yeah, he's he was phenomenal. I mean, you would have never known he was eighty years old. Um, yeah, eighty one. Eighty? No, he's going to be eighty one. Or did he turn eighty one now? He's eighty one now. He's eighty one now, but he's only eighty one. We saw him. Okay, God bless the USA was his famous hit, and yes, he did sing it. Okay, so if you get a chance to go see Lee Green Lee Greenwood anywhere, I highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. Okay. So this is God Bless America by Cartabella. All right, we're just gonna whip through here so you can kind of see what these papers are. I won't be able to use all of them, but um, I'm gonna use some of them. And I'm gonna use that one. This has actually the Star Spangled Banner on it. Some stars. We've got four by four cut apart, some blue with writing. We've got flowers here. I do have a that question, one? Though. You do have a question. Well, we have one on here. Anita from Indianapolis has checked it in saying hi. Hello. But the tag says boiler for life. What tag? Boiler for life. Boiler for life. You what know, is the boiler I'm an old, for life? old guy in the power generation business. When I see boiler, I get kind of excited. So I'm just curious of what's the boiler. Boiler for life. Okay. Yeah. Explain it. <laughs> Somebody explain it, or my husband is not going to sleep tonight. Julie says hi. Hey, Julie, Nikki guys, from welcome. Out in Wyoming, we'll be out Yes, there we're going to the, going to Gillette. Lori Cox in Kansas. And then we've got a sticker sheet. Okay, so that's what we're going to work with a little bit tonight. And Joey Pickens from Central Indiana. Hopefully, you're all doing fine. I know there were some pretty bad storms went to Missouri and Illinois. Yeah. And in some areas of Indiana there. So what we're going to do is we're going to tell you a couple little business items. We'll mention it throughout the night. But um, Liberty has been extended for tonight till midnight. So if you think you missed Liberty, you got a little bit of time left, okay? So look for the Liberty accessory set. It has the United States in it and a whole bunch of other unique ones. Off. It's 50% off, guys, so till midnight. Seven. All right. And then also uh, there's a new, uh, well, it's not new. It's a kit that came out a few years ago called the Star Spangled Sweetie. And I actually have a kit here. I'm going to show you it. So hang on. All right. We'll show it to you in just a little bit. But some of the templates that I'm going to use, okay, we're going to do a simple layout. And then we're going to, what I call, zhush it up. And then we're going to add some more templates. The first layout is so going to be. Explain what do you mean by doing a simple layout? Okay, a simple layout. This is going to have all the templates that are available in the shop. Okay, as of this moment. As of this moment. Some of them only till midnight. You never know when they're going to hop into that vault. So if you don't have them, write them down. We're going to use the Everyday Adventures. Now, this is a brand new, uh, one of the newest scrapbooking kits with all the templates in it you need to make a layout. But I'm just going to use these two for right now. Everyday Adventures. And we're going to put a border here and a border here. Okay. This is number seven and number eight. And then I have pulled rings number four. And it's going to go right there. Yes, I'm putting it right in the middle. We're going to cut part of it. And I've got Liberty. Now, this is one of those ones I was telling you about that's on sale, 50% off until midnight. And we're going to use this as a title area, okay? All right, Lee, if you can't see something, you got to let me know. <clears throat> All right, that Star Spangled Sweetie I told you about, these, these templates are from the Star Spangled Sweetie. We have a, a beautiful little star there and this one. So this is also from the Star Spangled Sweetie. Here's another one from Liberty. This is that United States I was telling you about, okay? Now I'm gonna take my photo templates. Oh, and I've got one more. This one is from one of the latest kits called Widget. 
if you don't have widget, oh my gosh, I highly, highly recommend this one too. There's so many different shapes. There's the uh, long arrow and uh, oh, what is it called? Like an atom icon. It's just gorgeous. But this little star can go just about anywhere. We can make a third so little layer there. The Star Spangled Sweetie is also on sale for twenty. Oh, that's right. It's twenty five dollars for the kit, and it has all the paper, the sentiment cards, and the templates. Twenty five dollars, and you can make at least three double page layouts from that kit. And you can use more, which you have to add your own background sheets because they only give you um, two, four, six, six, but they're double sided, so you have. Uh, choices on either side but let me go ahead and put the picture photo templates this is the magical touch in creating your layout you can do this all day long but this finishes what you start okay three by fours four by five and then i have three more three by fours right here okay so that is a simple layout it took you what two minutes and it's done look at that so if you want to take a screenshot of this one and then we're going to just go ahead and cut um what we have right now out of some paper okay we're going to use this one this is uh the god bless america one i see if there's a it's called fourth floral f-o-u-r-t-h-f-l-o-r-a-l and we're going to cut these templates the bottom i like to always start with the bottom first get my base going okay if you have never used kiwi lane templates please let us know right in the comments that you're first timer or you've got them and you don't know how to use them so kiwi lane go ahead you got something yeah i was just gonna say when you talked about the simple layout that's really we've had some people before say i've never used it before and we get into it too deep too quick and they don't know so we're kind of doing right a basic layout, put it right back and then you show them how to really take it and take it above and beyond and go from really good to really great so i think right. that's really good well kiwi lane is a layering system as some of you know and by that i mean you see this is what we call layered you can build it from the bottom and come up okay everything on top of one another there is no hard way uh, to use this it's easy easy peasy okay and usually you start with a border or something that grounds your um, layout okay so we've got the two borders here and how the kiwi lane borders will work 99.9% .9 of the time unless you have one-way patterns on your paper and then you got to adjust it a little bit because I got this one going this way and I got this one going this way, right? So if I had a one-way pattern, I'd have to be careful how I laid it. I may have to adjust like it. So it's stripes up. in it or yeah. something like that. So, okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to take one and you put it along the edge of your 12 by 12 paper. If you're using smaller, that's no problem either. She, the Kiwi Lane have you covered. There's a number seven inch, number eight inch, eight and a half, nine inch, and 11 inch. So if you're doing an eight and a half by 11, they've got the markings here. If you're doing a seven by seven, eight by eight, nine by nine. Or if you're doing the whole kahuna, 12 inch. <laughs> or the 12, yep. All right, so what we're gonna do is I, I have a Kuru Toga pencil, mechanical pencil. It is one of the best pencils in the industry. The reason being, it doesn't leave a smudge on your templates or your paper. And it easily erases if you make a mistake or there's no mistakes in scrapbooking. I shouldn't have said that. If you make a boo-boo that you don't like, <laughs> okay? All right, so then we're gonna take the second one, which will fit nice snugly right up against there. And you can either make a mark at the top and the bottom, or you can do like me and come all the way down. So that gives us our two, pieces that we just had down and now we're going to cut them and for those of you who have been asking where my tim holtz cutter is i got it out tonight i was using it all day so we're going to cut the long straight line first and why were you scrapbooking all day could you tell i me? had two granddaughters in here with me that were scrapbooking and uh, 
they're out to eat right now with their families. Stephanie and wants to know what is the pencil called again? She needs the spelling. It's you, like a complicated <laughs> word. U-N-I. Uni. That's a, a company like Uniball and all that. And it's K-U-R-U Kuru Toga. T-O-G-A. And this one is a point zero point seven. This is a little bit darker, thicker line. Uh, normally you just do the 0.5, but I try to get it a little darker so you guys can see it a little more easier. And then I love Tim Holtz scissors. I, these are ones I use forever and ever and ever. They're still sharp. They self-sharpen. I always keep the covers on the tips just because like today I cut my wrist on one. Granddaughter was talking to me, turned around and I went Psh, with these little babies. So they are sharp. All right, so the way to use them is there's writing on here. You want the writing to towards you. So if you're left, turn it the other way. If you're right, leave the words towards you. They do make left-handed scissors though, okay? So um, if you want a left-handed pair, um, just look for them and make sure they say left, okay. And you didn't tell them Gracie's in here with us Yeah, too. Gracie's in here tonight. Daddy, did you just get her, her bone? Hot dog, all right. That's long. So anyway, there's some little bitty uh, teeth on one of the blades. You want that down unless you're cutting foil, then turn your scissors over. Otherwise, those little teeth will make little grooves on your paper. And always cut to the back of the scissors and turn your paper. So, all right, so we're going to cut this other line. Follow it right along. Right here today, it's just getting dusk in Iowa. And so if you guys can't see, let us know and we'll put another light on. I've got my ring light above and uh, they would like me to type the names. They still can't okay. catch it. So you -E and I space A-U-R-U -U space T-O-G-A -G like a toga party. Uh, mechanical pencil. Yes. Uh, 0.5 or 0.7. If you have a hard time seeing a pencil line, then uh, go ahead and Go with the 0 0.7, 0 0.7. And these are available at most office supplies on Amazon. You can get them at my local scrapbook here. If you'd like the information, just let me know and we'll tell you what our store is. Okay, so this is where they go, right? But to complete it, we're gonna do one more thing we are going to ink the edges. Cause like once in a while, you might not get exactly on the, the pencil line. This will cover it up. It's called Vintage Photo Distress Ink by Tim Holtz. And I use the dauber. I like the rounded um, domed dauber top. <laughs> so, and I'm gonna hit and ink all of the edges, okay? And it can be heavy, it can be light, whatever you choose to do. I like it to look a little vintagey, hence the name Vintage Photo. And uh, not and too you heavy. You do that on bit. pictures and everything. Uh, yes, I've already done my pictures. And I've got a couple little techniques on the pictures tonight too, I think you're gonna be interested in. So I can't wait to show you that. See, now can you see the difference between this one and this one that is not inked. Can you see it online, Lee? Maybe, maybe not. Not really. Uh. All right. Great and personal. <laughs> well, Liz Wilson's on says, Hey, Liz. Hey, and welcome. Stephanie Paulson from Minnesota. We'll be going up. Hello, there Stephanie. There. Yeah, we will be up around that area. And we have Nikki on from West Tennessee. Hi, Nikki. I and hope the weather's good there. We're going to be down in Tennessee in October again. Uh, we're going to the Creative Keepsakes Convention that's in Lebanon. Once you get registered. And, no, I don't have to register. I just go. I'm just going to go in and shop one day is all I'm going to do. I think. I need to look at the class. Gene Thompson's on from Kentucky. Hello. Okay, so we've got those two pieces done. Now you see how cool that is? Even if you didn't have anything else, if you just had the borders, that makes a big difference in your layouts. Okay. Darlene Knudsen from North Carolina. Hello, Darlene. What part of North Carolina? And then, of course, hello from Nebraska. She made it home. <laughs> Aren't you apologetic that you missed her? I'm sorry. I was with the grandkids. 
Okay, so this one's called Firework Fiesta. All right, so we're gonna put this on. Must be our kids are home. We got our son and daughter. Why don't you pull that door shut? Okay, because sound is on. She's from Hello. Central Indiana, or kind of south, south central. No, the door. Where See if, is that? Uh, we've got our son's family and our daughter's family. Our um, son's staying here in the house. And our daughter actually brought her camper down, and they're staying in the driveway, hooked up to the utilities in the RV garage. We uh, have a 45-foot motor home, and... Uh, so we have hookups at both ends. It works out really good to have somebody else stay that has a camper or motorhome. So if you do have something near the Cedar Rapids area, you got a place to hook up. And also our scrapbook store is a, what they call a harvest host. So you can stay at there um, in front of the store there in the parking lot. So let me, I forgot to say here. So what I do is I like to cut out the templates away from the big sheet, okay? That just gives you an easier, um, ease of, more ease of cutting because you can grab a hold of a template, even this big, a lot easier than having to deal with the whole paper. But as you can see, I'm doing to the back of the scissors and cutting the paper, not all the way to the point. And then I'm turning the paper with my left hand. Gwen Jackson's off in North Carolina. Hey, Gwen. Chris from Connecticut. Hello. Yeah, you guys are supposed to get some of that heat up there on the East Coast. Well, there's yeah. some storms that on and Pam Rouse said oh my. he's having some now the lights go out. Oh, that's not good. Not good and at all. Shelly on South Carolina. Well, hello. It's so one of our favorite stuff. Yes, state we love state. Charleston area. Okay. So do I want that inside ring cut out? Yes, I do, because I drew that pencil in there. Rivers, hey, darling, we got a question to ask you just a little bit. So um Anyway, so what we can do is if you know, if you notice, we had another template on top of this, right? Put this back. We had another template on top. So this little area or this little area that's already covered, we're just going to make a line cut up to that little line for the inner circle and cut. Isn't that cool? I know at first, the first time I did that, it's like, no, that's not going to work. I'm going to mess up now. But I'm like, okay, I got to do it. Susan, our wonderful president of Kiwi Lane, she said, that's how you do it. So I did it. Haven't stopped ever since. So. She said our scrapbook stores, uh, it's not our store, but the one located in Cedar Rapids is beautiful. Everyone needs to go and see it. Oh, I'm glad. Stephanie no wants to know where we visit in Minnesota. Well, we're going to be going to our son's place. In Watford City, North, North Dakota. Dakota. So yes, we come into the Twin Cities. We circle up around, and it's at 494 Maple Grove area, and then we get on 94 and start heading to the Northwest. And you said you're in the Southwest. We've stayed at the campground there by the casino a couple times. Really nice campground. So yeah, we'll have to. And Darlene's from Cornelius, North Carolina. Oh, why does that sound familiar? Because I just read it to you. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. So, okay. So I'm going to hold this up a little bit. Can you see the ink on the outside and nothing on the inside? Can you see that, Lee? Are they able to? You see the difference? Um, yeah, a little bit. Okay. It's, it's hard. It's not the same as seeing. Oh, the I know. Leslie's on from San Antonio. Hey, hey. You're getting some of that Texas heat down there, too. So we, we, it's, this is gorgeous here. It's a little rainy right now, and that's fine. We need the rain. When I got home from Wisconsin, it was 65. Yeah, it, it's it's dropping. But we're supposed to be in the low 80s all week. And uh, tomorrow, I think it's only high as 78, which is perfect for me. I'll have 78 to 80 degrees weather. So, okay, we got that one. And also, too, remember, we're going to be cutting this Another time because we've got to put, we'll just do that right there like that. That bone did last long. Oh no, those don't, Daddy. I'm sorry. Okay, now. And the boiler for life, I should have knew it. She was from Indiana. <laughs> so what school do we drive past up in? You're asking me? The Purdue Boilermakers. Oh, I have no idea. 
No, I'm telling you, it's the Purdue Boilermaker. Oh. <laughs> so that's the name Boiler for Life. Okay, got it. Got it. I went to Southern Illinois University, so I'm a Saluki, an Egyptian dog. And, yeah. Uh, but Purdue, I, I worked with a lot of engineers that went to at Purdue. Great, great school. So I have my love of paper extends into anything and everything from the most beautiful glitter paper to burlap to, yes, even the ugliest paper that has been created, which I will not name names, but you all know what I'm talking about. Love paper. I and these Kiwi Lane, these Kiwi Lane <laughs> templates work miracles and even on the ugliest of paper. All right. You so call it the ugly paper. I was being nice. I didn't want to say that, but yes. And you're but, still uh, on the basic part of the yes, layout. we're we're still doing the basic. Okay. So because you can't write on the front glitter very well. You can, but it's not advised. Leslie we're said, this yes, one. it's hot. San Antonio, but it is Texas. And number two, <laughs> it is July. Yes, it is. All right. So we're going to take this one from the Star Spangled Sweetie. And in a little bit, I can't wait to show you the kit. I actually looked around and see if I had one. And I actually found one with the templates in it. So I'm excited. And Darlene says, yes, Peru, Purdue. This is Knudsen. She said she just graduated from Purdue. So well, congratulations. congratulations. Fantastic. We won't tell you how many years it's been since Lee graduated college and his master's. Yeah, I even did my master's degree and did my final report on an old manual royal typewriter because the internet had been invented yet by. Uh, <laughs> so does that, that, that tell you anything? <laughs> yeah, a long time ago. All right. So we got that one. Gracie, Gracie. She's got a bone underneath here. Here, mommy, get it. There it is. You guys have ever heard of a gorilla bone? Now, again, we're going to cut this away. She's got this big, it's like a tree root or something. Kind of and, like a cypress. Leaf. Yeah. It, it, and it's not supposed to be just indestructible. Or it is, it is, what's that word? It's, it's not destructible. Yeah, it's supposed to last almost forever. She's got a third of it gone. She's two years old. So does that tell you anything? She's yeah. pretty tough. She is. She had to tough. go see the vet yesterday, which was quite yeah. an event. Yeah, she did good. She doesn't like strangers that she doesn't know. I shouldn't say she doesn't like it. She does. She fears She's them. She is very nervous. And and if she, you get a little too close, she'll kind of let you know it and she'll nip at you. So I'm, I I had a big talk where it's like, please do not bite the vet. Oh. And the vet knew it, and they yeah. also give her some pills that were kind of an encouragement. They say they say she has a short fuse. So, if any piece is bigger than a quarter, a quarter above, I keep it. If I can get a punch out of it or something, I keep those scraps. If it's smaller, it goes. So, if you see me keeping a pile over here, yes, I do keep it. If it's quarter or bigger, okay. Grace, you're standing on my foot now. I'm cutting this, and when I get to that corner point, I go right to the tip of the scissors, pull it out, and start again. Okay, that's the only time I use the tip if I'm going inside to a point to clean it up. Like that, going to the point, and then I can start again. All right. Now, this one, because I don't have anything layering over top of it at this point, what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to get a cutting mat. I always have a the separate. Word was at this point. <laughs> yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use another tool which I dearly love. How many of you have an Exacto knife and has a blade about that long? Those things scare me. They have scared me for years. And a while back, I'd say it wasn't this one. It was actually this one. Here, let me grab it. This was my first slice. Love this thing. Okay. And it doesn't come off very well, but love it. And this is probably back from the early 2000, maybe. I had this, still sharp, still works. But I found the new one. This is the new slice, new and improved. Cap comes off easier. These can be replaced, but it has a ceramic tip and it won't cut you, but it will do great on different things like this okay so you got the mat to push it. yes you need a self-healing mat to work it okay we're going to do this 
And, and you want says, wow, Linda, you use scraps well. I had to limit myself to a business card <laughs> wallet photo size. Otherwise, I'd be keep you way too many small well, pieces and my scrap bin was overflowing. Well, if you think about it, okay, this little star piece, I can get one of them out of there. If I turn it just right. There we go. I can get one of them. And if you notice, I have extra. So I could do a little more little little bitty stars. One, two, three, four. Five, I will have five pieces out of that little scrap. But here's the thing. If you want to leave it like that, you can and put it in your scrap box. I have three a little bit bigger than shoe boxes scraps. I have the tinies and then I have the middle pieces and then I have like bigger, like a half sheet or less. If you want to go ahead and cut it out and file the little pieces like that, you can or just throw it in your scrap bucket. Darlene Knudsen said the gold star is lovely. <laughs> All right, so here we go. This Darling slice. Says, I love my slice. Oh, I'm so glad. I mean, everybody that usually gets, I see 90% of the people really like it. Stephanie but Stephanie ordered one after one of your other crops. She uh, loves it. Awesome. Thanks to add to her the, wish. <laughs> Third time I watch your videos. Well, wait till you see, I got a couple new things for you. Um, there's an angle on it. If you can see it, that right there. You want it, it works like a pen or pencil and you want that angle to be angled. You want this whole thing to be angled. Don't try to write like this or you're going to tear it and you're going to hate this thing. Okay, so we're going at an angle and you just pull back like you would on a pen, like you're writing. Stop at the corner. Go again. Right down the line. And if you don't get it all the way through, don't worry. Then you just go back with your scissors and just a little more pressure. A little more pressure. Or you can use this again if you feel you have a steady hand. Some days I do and some days I don't. Well, you also have Tammy Wall Brown, and her sister Debbie Reynolds. You know they've joined together. Yes. Or a Hearts, uh, Hartville, Ohio. They're spending the night tonight in Greensboro, North Carolina. Ooh. And they're heading OIB. It says, which I'm not quite sure. OIB. Oh, and Calabash tomorrow. So oh, awesome! That would be heading over, basically to the. Like area. Yes, awesome. Have some flounder and some fish for us. Hush puppies. I love me some hush puppies. We had leftover hamburgers tonight from before. Okay, so I didn't cut deep enough, but I take my little scissors, my tinies. Outer banks, I think is what that is. Outer banks, and I'll just Maybe. go along here. I'm just guessing. Sometimes this is thicker, over. this is thicker paper. So you might have to press a little harder. I hear my little granddaughter. See, it caught most of it. It's just a little bit there. And you can just kind of just go through with your scissors and get it down. But it's better. Look at it. There it comes. It's better than that exacto knife. I heard a horror story of a lady who was changing the blade. And that's good for later. Uh, changing a blade and the blade went right through her little finger. I mean, you guys, if you scrapbook, you think about it, if you do something to your hands, you're done. There's no more scrapbooking. Okay, so I'm gonna move this off to the side and then let's go ahead and cut this star out of some silver. God, all these people out of North Carolina making me hungry. I'm thinking of some liver, <laughs> liver mush. I gave him a hamburger. Oh, it was warm. I grilled, warmed it up and grilled the bun and Ocean Isle Beach. Okay. I thought, well, it's close to Outer Banks anyway. Dinner is Monday night at Dockside in Calabay. Oh, oh that's sure. good. Monday. Yes. Shoot, I got to go to a mediation or I can make a run for it. This one is also from the kit that's on sale, um, the Star Spangled Sweetie for $25, guys. Wait till you see it. I mean, wait till you see it. Again, I'm cutting. The scissors to the point of the star and the point in the middle here. Only time I do that is at a point. Otherwise, I don't use the tips. And every time you use these scissors, they get easier and easier to use. These are really, 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 really worn to mine. And this was a brand new pair, and they're not quite as loose. Now, FYI, you might think I'm crazy, but when you have a pair of scissors like this, don't let anybody else use them because they cut 
to your way of cutting. I don't know how that works, but it does. So, yep. Once it's your scissors, it's your scissors. The ladies told me they're so sorry that we'll be thinking of you. <laughs> you're, yeah, it's better than I used to say. You're bad. Okay. That one there. And Pam says you got that kit ordered today at your rough and senior. Awesome. You're going to love it, Pam. It's, I almost used it tonight, but I, I, I really wanted to use this one because it was this, the, the name of the, the guy, the leap, you know. Well, and it's fitting. I mean, this yeah. week was July yeah, yeah. 4th. It's our Independence Day. And we okay. appreciate all those veterans and those who have served our Definitely. country, whether the military or in other ways. And Definitely. one of the ways we show respect. So. All right. So I'm going to use this for the United States. And this one actually has got a little parade on it. Long may she wave, land that I love. This land is my land. This land is your land. So it's that song. It's called Flying Flags. On the other side are the flags. Okay. Ooh, you can do those and make them like postage stamps. Maybe the post office wouldn't go whatever. <laughs> hey, they're going up again. Only three cents. I saw a posting that somebody said, oh, they're going to triple. And I'm like, oh, they can't do that. They wouldn't do that surely not so i went in there the other day to mail a package <laughs> it uh i asked the lady i said so how much is stamps going up she says three cents i'm like oh whew. okay so now we're going to cut this one away <laughs> this little united states is in the liberty set which is on sale till midnight 50 percent off leave you got the price of it did it <laughs> seven dollars fifty cents liberty seven dollars and fifty cents midnight tonight. oh guys i'm telling you well, that's what that's here that here. is cheap i'll get but you can get the star spangled sweetie, sweetie for 25 kit club. that was from july of last year yes anybody can get it and, but you can get it this month they brought it back for just this month yep 25 bucks dollars which is it's a nice kit so that you don't have to great. be a kit club member to order it okay once you get it, you'll probably become a Kit Club member because it's going to be knocking your socks off. Um, it does become impressive. Yes. When they had some open before, like when you could get the paper or you could buy it, uh, kits uh, before they took them off the purchasing, I did stack, stack up on maybe two or three of each one that I could get because I do stay in plays at our local scrapbook store. And so I would work on those and the paper is phenomenal. You can use it for anything. And I bought extra paper so I could work on that. Trisha w said she just got home from watching her nephew's band play. So are we talking mm -hmm. like a band, like guitars, drums and that kind of band? I remember back when I started playing in eighth grade and Early 70s, playing Three Dog Night and Clarice Clearwater Revival, little Hank Williams. <laughs> He's aging himself. They were to do, you know? uh, so I am looking for a navy. Let's see what our choices are. I think there's a star one. That one. Guitars and drums. Yep, I was a guitar player. So. Hmm. Any, mini, money, mo, which is the one that I should let's do this one. Okay. We're going to do this one out of this little navy. Okay, here's another trick. The Kuru Toga will write on dark, okay? And you'll be able to see it yourself personally. But because that you probably can't see what I'm doing, I'm going to do what they call the slide, slide, flip. We came up with this a few years ago. Again. Slide, slide, flip. So what you do is you put it, you put it where you want it on the actual paper side. And then what you do is you, hey, hey, no, no, no. You slide it off, <laughs> slide it under and flip it over, okay? Now this one doesn't, this one doesn't make any difference because it's a star, you know, but if you've got one like this and if you want it, you want to take it off, slide it off, slide it under and flip it over. See, Crazy. Linda joining us, Linda Brock, because she's in hot, Hello. hot Florida. Yeah, she messaged me earlier, wanted to know what I was using for tonight. So we are just on 
a basic layout and then we're going to zhush it up. Her nephew plays guitar and is the lead singer of the band. Ooh. What kind of music do they do? I have a Fender Telecaster and I also got a Gibson acoustic. You've got a hummingbird. Plus another five or six other guitars. I've got a mandolin and a banjo, auto harp, dulcimer. And two bass guitars. And two bass guitars. We are musicians. And we have been. That's how we met. Country. So, in fact, our very first date was we, he, Lee knew me that I wanted to learn how to play guitar. And so, our first date was actually he took me shopping so I could buy my first guitar, which is actually going to our grandson. Our it's eldest grandson. Yeah. Okay. $136. That was a lot, a lot. Is that what it was? I thought it was more than that. Okay. So this one has a center. And I'm going to use this white glitter. I will do that, Tricia. What? What? Oh, what? She just talked to me. It's kind of indie rock and some covers. The name of their band is Pretoria. Check them out. Pretoria. He will too tonight. I'll be here. So I got some here. Says they're late getting on. What paper kit are you using? I am using "God Bless America" by Cartabella. But you can use anything, red, white, and blue. This is not really patriotic because I mean it is, but it isn't. We're gonna do. Um, we went to the uh, Lee Greenwood. Um, well, Lee Greenwood came to an event that we were uh, a private event. At, yes, played in the garage basically. It was cool. New World Warehouse, big building, storage building. Yep. So, sorry, I'm putting this, the shreds behind here. I don't mean to pull it back out of sight, but okay. You get cut kind of small, aren't you? Yeah, it's getting small. Okay. If you see a, your white start turning red, you'll know you got too close to your That's fingers. cool. <laughs> I already did it on my wrist earlier. Okay, so we have this one yet to do and i think we'll just do that out of a plain white or let's do burlap guys if you've never used burlap grab some burlap so good for burlap. burlap paper okay i get this at my local scrapbook store love it and this paper on one side and burlap on the other all right because this is where i'm putting a title so that burlap will give it just a little bit of dimension. All right, put that there. Linda, yes. I forgot my burlap at the store. Oh, are you I kidding? Forgot, I forgot to pick it up. I was so <laughs> overwhelmed about the store. I was just like running where I needed to go. <laughs> You're gonna it's have a fun to go store. back. You're gonna I know. have to go back. <laughs> Well, just, let us know. Linda can go get it, mail it to you. Yeah, I mean, you need some. Let me know. We can get it or mailed to you. Mail or to yeah, you. you can call Stacy there at Script Meeting. She'll get it for you. But All right. yeah, remember, I warned you to take a deep breath before you go in because <laughs> it is big. It's. Well, she was I yeah. even had to call my husband on the phone because we got lost in the store. Oh. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that, that's wow. It it is a wonderful store. I am blessed beyond measure to have Scrap Mania at here and uh, thirteen thousand six hundred square feet of scrappy happiness. So, so did you make it to uh, Wisconsin okay? Yes, we had a blast. Awesome. Yeah, I was in Madison the last couple of days, got home about four thirty tonight. I get tired of going to Madison all the time. He's got to go next to week. Else. Well, we're, yeah, I go back on Monday again. So. We start traveling the 4th of August again, and we'll be going. It took us on back roads to Wisconsin Dells. Does it do that for you? Nope. I don't even listen to the GPS. I just <laughs> close my drive. It hurts yeah. so much. Yeah, we, we don't. We I just go up 151. Takes about three hours from Cedar Rapids. So where did you stay at in the Dells? We stayed at um, Quality Inn. Okay. Do we know where that's? Is that out on the side where Culver's is at? Yeah. Okay. I don't know where you're at. Yeah, and that is back roads. That is the quickest way. You go past uh, what's the house? House of the Rock and all that. You cut up to yeah. Reed's 
Reedsburg. And if you've never been to the House on the Rock, you need to stop and see that. That that is just amazing. That's got for everybody. It might be traveling. Yes, anyone. And then there's a mustard museum. There's yeah, also a little Norway. I don't know if it's still open or not. Yes, yeah, sir. They even the have an outlet mall on in Wisconsin Dells. Yep. Yep. Did you eat? What's the name of that little restaurant we like on the corner? It has the cinnamon rolls. Is that Denny's? No, what's it called? It is Denny's Denny. Diner. Denny's Diner. It's on the corner and they make the best cinnamon rolls. They were and, closed. Oh, shoot. That stinks. Yeah. <laughs> Oop, we got one more here. That, we, that were, we hadn't been there in 10 years and it's changed a lot. Yes, it has. But Del, is it Del, Del Rey's? That supper club Del is Bar. Del Bar. It's still there, and it's as good as it always is. They they make great shrimp, and oh, it's just really I good. We went to the Lumberjack. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah we yeah. never ate there, but I know where it is. It's really and that, good. And then there's that big moose pizza place, too. So Yeah, we took pictures by the moose. <laughs> They're moose cars. <laughs> those are hilarious. Yep. Love those things. So, and, and then, then they have they, a great go ahead. They have the um Transformers exhibit. Yeah, it's where you can yes. see them there. Yes, I saw that. It's got the crooked building and everything. Yep. Yeah. They were that yep. was the parking lot was packed. People were just taking pictures. <laughs> and then the is it Roman? That's all the water parks uh, have that theme. Yeah. Sure, yes, right. that's all new. That used to be just little little hotels wow. yeah, when we went 10 years heard. ago yeah we were there in 1984 and we stayed at that pink flamingo that's still there but it was that was about all there was right yep. there and yeah okay. it's all so, closed they closed it all down wow unbelievable so this yeah. is the basic layout well you want to go back scrapbooking yes yes <laughs> okay this is a basic layout so if you guys want to take a a screenshot of that. That's your basic one. You can take this little star that we made this here and you can put more stars wherever you wanted to on the layout, however you want to do it. Okay. And so, you talked about those are your photo mats one. that are on there, right? Yes, right. these are the photo mats. I've got three, got three, three by different. fours. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, well, six, technically seven, but I'll have to show you that. Okay. So, like, you could put a little star here, you could do them here, however you wanted to. And you can bling them up. I've got these little stars here. I got this at the store um, the other day. It's Travini Crafts. You've got red, white, red, silver, white, blue stars. It's red, like, white, and blue. Yeah. That's kind of a genius. <laughs> and this is the title, America, America. That's going to go right there. Okay. I'll take it out. I didn't ink the burlap. I should do that. But let's get the glare off of this. So this is going to go here. They said, uh, got some of the Galilee. They said, maybe they'll see us on Sunday night from the beach. Perfect. All right. Sounds maybe good. If we were smart, we would come to the beach and broadcast <laughs> from the beach. Okay. We'll so, do that after I retire. So this is the basic one. All right. Now we're going to zhush it up. This, this. Spell that. I have no idea. None whatsoever. What's it mean? I don't know. It means to zhush it. It means to make it more Wait. detail more detail if you if you have pretty much all the templates ever made this will be something you can do okay all right the first thing we want to do in zhushing is we add another border set okay this one is in the shop this is jason lane we have jason lane 3a and 3b okay i'm going to take these picture ones off and I'm going to stick this right underneath our everyday adventure. Okay. And we're going to do the 3B over here. I'm just going to go there. And there's no magic to which one no. you're using. They all go together. Nope. All right. And this is still a straight template or is this a... This is a border. border. Yep. No, it's a border. Now I'm going to get the fun border called Streamers. This is Streamers one. Regular ones? <laughs> I don't know. They are fun to work with. So I'm going to put this one. I just got one streamer. You showed them there's not a straight side. Yep. This is a fun border. And these are still available also. 
Okay. So there's that. And then here's another fun border. These are also available too. This is Happy Trails. I picked up one B. And I'm going to put this right in the middle of that one. Okay. Now, this one has been retired for a while. And hopefully they'll bring it back out because it's a nice one. It's called Adventure. Adventure one and two. And this is going to go here like this. And then, whoops, let me to move that. Julie H says, J-O-O-G-E, Grush. Oh, your word. Juice. Yeah. You have to tell us what it be. I mean, my mom used to use that word all the time. Okay. So this is from the everyday. Western slang that's called, right? Yep. This is the everyday adventures. Another one. It looks like a little gear. And we're going to make a layered right on top of that star. And on top of that, this is Freedom One. And this is from what, Lee? You got it on there. What's Freedom I One? Got it. You want me to tell you? Yes, I do want you to tell me. I know what it is. So I want to see if you got it. He's looking. He's looking. You sure? America the Beautiful. One? It's America the Beautiful, July 2019. Yeah, I don't okay. see a Freedom One. It's, it's from America the Beautiful. It's a monthly kit. Okay, yeah, if you still have that one, or you could use one of the other ones. These are from Tiny Seasons. This is still available, but it might not be for long. So, <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> this is 14. This is 90. All right. Now, this one, I have it adhered down. If you're going to do the just one, you're going to want it on this side. Okay. Because we're going to use this as a point and I'll show you in a second. Okay. This one can go anywhere, anywhere you want. But okay. it should go on the paper, shouldn't it? Yeah, it goes on the paper. All right. So I'm going to show you now what the pictures look like. So here's the band. There's Lee playing the piano. I'll put that one right there. Lee Greenwood. Lee not Greenwood. This Lee. No. And oh, just then he asked me to play guitar though, because I know all his songs. <laughs> I got to get them in order. I got the name Lee and what more? Okay. So this one is going to go here. This is of him. Let me move that up a little bit. Might have to hold up closer. I'll get you. Well, they're not very good pictures. They really aren't. So here he is playing the keyboard. There he is playing the saxophone. He played a we big one close. and a, a small one. Yes, we were very close. And of course, there's Lee and I. Put that there. And that's the I last think. picture because the camera broke after I was No, there. no, no, no. Okay. And this one happens to be Lee Greenwood, Brett Davis. This is Lee Greenwood's father-in-law. And Darlene, you know this guy. What's his name? He's a contemporary Christian singer from right there, not far from Grand Rivers. Yep. Uh, close to Paducah there. I don't remember. It's Eric. Horner. There you go. Yeah, Eric, that's right. That you goes said there. That. And I went over and visited him for a while. Really super guy. Yeah, there, so. it was really nice. Okay. And then we've got this one. Let's see, I got this one over here on this side. This one here. And then this one is also his band. And we might use this one instead of that one. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. Right now, I've got it there. We like the one you got though, because it's got a good representation yeah. of the flag. Yep. Or and then close. what you can do. So at the end of the concert, of course, he did um, God Bless the USA. And all the people came up front and were just raising their hands. He's actually right there. This is the Liberty United States cut out. The templates you can see right through. Which is available till midnight yes. tonight. 50% 50 off. off. All right. Cents. So, we're gonna pick this one up. And while we're at, I'm gonna, I'm gonna replace it. Number there, so they can. If somebody wants to get it and doesn't, they aren't signed up under somebody. They could always. Yes, you can do that. He'll put the or they can just even just. Okay. Reach out to you. That one is just up. So I still got my same pictures, but I'm gonna add a few more templates and give it a little a bit more. Pizzazz. <laughs> so Change words on us. I know. Uh, the first thing I want to do is I want to show you 
make sure I get the right red. Here it is. I want to show you what you can do with this United States because it's kind of, yeah, I mean, it's a lot of pictures we there. We're, we're going to use a little different. Here. All right. So I just got a piece of red basil. I need my 401k to go up. What can you do about that? <laughs> this one is called Ruby Slipper by Basil. And on the back. B A Z C I L L. Yes. Good job. So I don't know if they're back in the Kiwi Lane shop or not. I know you can get these at the scrapbook store, but they're little discs. Okay. There's like four of them in a set. And what it does is it gives you an edge around anything that's curvy. Okay. Stephanie said it looks so cool with the flag picture cut out that way. Yeah. All right. So we're going to pretend I just laid it there. You take this and you put it around. Down. That's why I want it because I want the other side of the paper up. Gotcha. I did a slight slide flip on this one. Okay. Well, I didn't hear you give that. I'm sorry. I'm going to do over here because I've already done one. We'll just do it different. Okay. So you start at some point, that little hole, you put your pencil in and you just this go. This is a spiral graph then. It's kind of like a spiral graph. For those and it goes right spiral. around those little corners. Round, 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 right around. Especially with the Kuru Toga pencil, works perfectly. You don't want to get too fast, but it'll go down in that corner. And you have that little corner that little. Great lakes. Okay, so there's different sizes. This is the smallest, I think it's the smallest one. All right, now we're going to cut it out. That's going to be tough. No, it's not. I'm going to cut the first one I did, so it's not in the middle. There's a chance we can lose Florida if I was cut. <laughs> All right, we're going to cut it out. Texas might become flat at the bottom. <laughs> I'm going to use my little ones, but the other ones are fine too. But we'll use the little ones. All right, here we go. All the way around, around California, up to Washington, across the northern states in Canada. Coming down through. Name all the state Michigan. counties where you're going past. Oh, I used to. I don't know if I could do it all. I might. I don't know. That was a big thing. I, well, I remember when our kids did it, they actually sang a song with it in there. And I'm like, I can't do that. <laughs> I just need to memorize it. Okay, around Maine, New York, what Carolina, Rhode Island. I'm already past it. Already past it. Maybe. Did you wave to imply calibration? <laughs> there we go. I did. So. Ashboro, so you got it. Well, if you guys ever get up this way, uh, the scrapbook store is not the, I mean, it's it's wonderful, but they also have a retreat house too that you can stay in. And there's a quality in on right there Yeah. Too. And then um, there's a lot of things to see and do here in Cedar Rapids. We have Bruce Moore, we have which is a man's mansion to tour. We have the Czech, largest Czech museum. And let's see, what else? I'm gonna use my small one. Man of Colonies is cool. Yes, Man of Colonies is wonderful. We have the Dyersville um, Field of Dreams. Farm Toy Museum and the Field of Dreams. Yes. That's yes, all yes. being built up. Now, I already inked my pictures. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna put it on. All right, that one's done. Now I'm gonna take this picture, put a little glue on the back. Well, I'm gonna use some adhesive, which is the ATG gun. I do like this very well. Off just a little so I can get Florida and Maine. Check, make sure there's none sticking out. All right, we're gonna put this right over top. And look at that. How about that? Isn't that slick? You can do that with any of the templates. It's amazing. Okay. All right, let's go do these. Yeah. The other thing I like to do is when you take one of the templates and you do like a solid in between two patterns, you know. That's cool. I like doing that too. Don't know what you call I don't that. know. Offsets, what I don't. I call it. 
we are going to use this one, I think. You do have a circle, you do have a star, but I'm an engineer. I love geometrical yep. shapes and I'll see a lot of those. I do see stars and circles. I'm so sorry. You I'm need so triangles sorry. and soft sleeves, you need ellipses. Um, I'm so sorry. Equilateral triangles. Here he goes. Okay, we're gonna use this one on the back. It's got those. I like the fun borders to create your own chevron. I think that's cool. All right. Again, Jason Lane is gonna go up against flat on that. We'll and draw our line. Yes, I did. <laughs> I'd be good at doing that. <laughs> All right, you grab the other one. Practice we'll butt it right up against. Make a line going down. Put how these. many years have you been ignoring those like that? I have no idea. How long you married? tell me how long I've been doing it. No, I'm just kidding. How long have you been married? A long sure. time. It's just a couple weeks. Yeah, we'll be married how many years, dear? I know how many of you. And put my extra templates back in a tray. Very important so you don't four lose them. Four. Especially right. a little, I know, four, doesn't, but we've been together over 50. And Darlene Grand Rivers, their anniversary, I think, it's next weekend, I think. Was it the 10th or? I think so. I think so. That's Darlene. Darlene, when's your anniversary? This new Tim Holtz cutter, I love it. Even better than the cutter pillar. But the only problem I have with it, I haven't learned, I've been using it a little bit, but I haven't learned how to line up the Better twice is still too short? No, I'm not getting it too short, but sometimes I get it a little too long. So, okay, put this. So you all understand that. You guys all understand the system so far. The Kiwi Lane, how it works. You design with the templates on one or two page. And once you get a, a design that you like, then you do what we're doing now where you lay it on coordinating paper, cut it, and then you ink it, and then you replace it. Let's talk Pretty about easy. Kit well, you gotta wait till I get the other one out. You gotta give me okay. a minute. I'll wait. Give you me a minute. Explain. So they are awesome. Oh, I know. They are. And for my husband to say that they're awesome, that means a lot because he is very critical of. Yes, I am. Yeah, he is. I offer you suggestions. She asked me, what do you think? I said, you really want to know? Okay. <laughs> How long you got? Yeah. Oh, that's cute. I like that. Gingham? Yep. Gingham. I like that blue gingham shirt. Like I used to have a purple room. Well, it's mostly lavender. And it had, my mom made purple gingham. And she curtains. made my blue one too. I had a full of it. She made, I don't remember those. You've got a better memory than I do, babe. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> All right. I'm going to move this so I don't lose and it. If I had another one like it, I couldn't put it on because I had um, grown over time. Okay. Yeah, I really like it. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Okay. My so. perimeter has expanded. <laughs> All right. So let's see. We got to do the streamer and this piece, which we will do out of another piece. What's on the back? Oh, that's those. Let's see what else we got in here. Oh, there's red polka dots. That will work. What's the name of this kid again? This is Cartabella God Bless America. This one here is called Fanfare. So as you notice, I'm taking the bottoms. On the back, it's got those cool things. All right. Which side are you going to want to display for the layout? That side? The red yes, side? the red. Streamers has three different pieces in it. There's this one. There's one that, no, I can't remember. Uh, I have to look. But there's three different ones, and they're all there's unique. One big one. There's one that kind of goes like that. And then the other one. So you call that a skew a little bit. Yeah, a skew. I just had. A forgetful moment. One out of 10,000. Okay, it was there. Let's go ahead and cut it. She's doing pretty good. If she thinks she needs to go, we can let it out too. That's a little piece out there. 
Yeah, don't want to scare the little one. Everly, our littlest granddaughter, she she's scared of Gracie. I don't know if it's because of her size. Gracie's more scared of her. <laughs> yeah. So we have the little one screams, and then Gracie takes off running. Like, oh, we have Maggie, our son's chocolate lab, and then we have um, an Aussie Doodle. That's our daughter's, and that's Posey. She's just a year. Maggie, I think, is eight. And Gracie is two. They get along just fine. When we were having dinner, they Except were just they playing. Don't care for Gracie. No, not all the time. No. Nope. Our dog likes to play. The other dogs all like to sleep. Darlene said the 10th, 46 years. Awesome. So we had that correct. It was the 10th. Yay, you did. I listened. You're good. And Darlene number two, which is Darlene Knudsen, they're almost 18 years. Wow. Fantastic. And then Darlene from Grand Rivers, Kentucky said, you will be so proud of me. I designed my own layout. <gasps> Congratulations. I can't wait to see you. I'll finish it next weekend at a crop. Oh, yes. Please post it so we can all see it. I would love that. Yeah, we so went and saw Darlene says, a few Darlene, weeks ago. Please share in the community. I love to see what you created yes right along to it she said okay please do yes 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 Lane, everybody everybody and that was me but new motto in quotes he really scrapbooking comma a system even a husband can love <laughs> there you go i love it i love it that is so true so true okay I want to put that one. Well, I love them so much that I actually get the monthly kit club, the one with the paper, and I get the template one. He gets both too. of them. And Linda says, Well, why do you need it? I get it. And I said, Yeah, but I can see what you really get and I can <laughs> ask questions. So I get ideas sometimes, believe it or not. And then I can say, Well, how come you didn't use this? And she'll let me know. Like, well, you weren't even supposed to know I had that. <laughs> Okay, we're going to make this one. Hey, no, no. Even Gracie said, I want one. Mm -hmm. I like plastic. We're just about done here. Look at that. Well, all right, this is just a, all down there. just a plain and piece. It up. Just a plain piece of white cardstock. And we have to go through the review process and the approval. Oh, listen here. Process. Listen to him. See what I can Issued for construction, issued for comment. Mm hmm Yeah. So, all right. And then what I'm going to do, well, I got my white. I'm going to do red, my little flag. White and blue. Red, white, and blue. I'm going to make my little flag here. There we go. I want to use the least amount of paper. Do you have one here? <laughs> Oops. QR code squares. I, I'm getting there. I'm getting there, babe. I'm okay. getting there. I've been gone a few days, so I wasn't sure. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Got to play a little bit of that. <laughs> I'm getting there. G -B the G -B. So we did record a little bit of his, some of his songs that were our favorite ones. And I don't know if you guys know, but they make QR code stickers that you can put these actually hold up to about a minute and they come four in a pack and they're like five bucks at the store but these are wonderful like we get little snippets of all his like our favorite songs so all I have to do is put these on and you can run your phone over top and listen to it and anybody can scan it and listen to it you don't need an extra code or anything just just a camera. So yeah, those are fun. So that I will be adding those. And hopefully when I post this, I'll post it in the community and I'll post it on You the, might be able to read it from what yes. Well, I'll take I'll take a little larger picture of it and see if you can in. scan. I'll try at least get one on there so you can scan it and listen to it. So okay. And then I get another little they trick said on we could record what we want that night and pictures and all that. So we aren't really violating. No. Copyright. Oh, so tell, we got to tell him stories about, about Lee. Like I said, he's a fantastic entertainer. He's also a great storyteller. And he tells you about some of his adventures. 
So one of them was they pulled up to a truck stop to fill up the fuel and the band had gone on in and got snacks or whatever. Well, Lee was the last one to get off the bus. And it's got his picture plastered all over the side of the bus and his name and everything. Yeah. So, I mean, you've got to know who was in the bus, right? Well, there was a truck driver washing his window and he saw Lee and he's like, so is he in there? <laughs> and Lee's like, nope, because <laughs> he really wasn't. He was standing right there. The truck dri driver didn't even oh, know. Goes, oh, okay. And he went back to washing his window. He didn't even recognize him. Bad. Didn't even recognize me. I'm standing right next to the <laughs> truck. And this guy's driving a semi. <laughs> it was good. That was cute. It was good. And then the the one about his sign, like you said, all over his his uh, bus. He actually is sponsored by ABC Supply, right? Yeah. Out of so, Bullock, Wisconsin. Yep. Well, they broke down with the bus. And what was the rest of that story on that one? They broke down. They broke down. So the long side of the road, they have to go find a place to go to. He said, next thing you know, everybody's getting off on that ramp and out taking pictures and doing all this and that. And all going over to the bus and get their pictures taken and he was standing outside and they nobody even asked him for an autograph they didn't recognize that nope. that was him himself out there because they had to get some help for the bus but uh anyway a couple things here uh tammy uh Broyles said great layout she's enjoyed it as always thank you and uh, have a good night she's thank good you okay um pam ralph said i used to chase trace atkins around and i saw a glean weed greenwood two times uh trisha w said i ordered some of those qr codes from scrap manage she hasn't used it oh you got to but they're so fine so so fine okay almost pam finished. says she saw, saw trace atkins 38 times 38 times oh my goodness oh my goodness wow all Deborah right johnson says wait what you purchase blank QR code stickers and then you can yes. somehow transfer whatever music or a video on that. Yes. Sticker. How do you do that? Okay. So once you get this, you pull one out. Is it going to start playing music? No, 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 no. Is it stereo? Okay. So here's what it looks like. These little bitty things in there. How it works, choose a sticker, scan the code. So you just take your camera and scan it. If this is your first time using Video Drop, you will be prompted to download the free app. Take or upload a video or picture. Attach your sticker to anything to share your personal message. Okay, there's four of them here. So that's all you do. I mean, it'll walk you through it. It's so easy. But the thing to remember, yeah, Linda figured it out. Yeah, if I can do it, it's only like one minute is all you can get on there. But one minute sometimes just to hear somebody's voice or a song. I mean, that's, that is, means a lot. Okay, so I'm going to do these out of the gold and silver. Oh, Jacob's here, our son-in-law. Okay, he's been driving up, up north every day for work and no grace. That's not That's crazy. Maggie, I know, but she's going here. It's wonders of having dogs. They're just communicating. You're communicating. Gracie, no, no. Gracie's asked, who is it? Who is it? Mm. And now they're going to tell her. Okay, who. so there's that one. Let me get the silver. If I can get anyway, she said, I love that. Thank you. You're very welcome. You can get them there in Scrap Mania. If you want to have more information, just message me and I'll give you her. Phone. Can I put the phone number on? Hmm? We'll give you the phone number. It's 319 377 9999. So you can give that. And she's got all kinds of shapes. I mean, everything from a dog biscuit can to Easter eggs to With QR codes. Yes. Them. Yes. They're amazing. And if you have a local scrapbook store, they might yes. even have them too. But if not, Scrap Mini does and they'll send them. They have a whole display of them. And um, you just tell them what you're looking for, what your topic is, and they can get one custom for what you want. So it's so much fun, really, really so much fun. Thank you, Sonia still must be on because uh, I was gonna let somebody in and I think she beat me to it. Woohoo! Okay, so as soon as I get these stars cut out, then we're gonna go through, before I hear this down, I want to show you the Kiwi Kit Club, okay? That's available for 25 bucks. 
All right, let me get this other one cut. That way, if you got to go, I understand we're not quite at the two hour yet, are we? How many minutes are we? Are we good? One hour and 15 minutes. Okay, we're doing good. Awesome. You just said some people are an hour later. Yeah. So, oh, oh before can. I forget, I will be going starting in August to the second Thursday. They've changed my schedule. Second, second Thursday. Thursday. So the dates for the August one is August 10th, then it's September 14th, and October 12th. Okay. So it'll still be a crop and talk. We're going to do a little bit different. I think you're going to love it. Okay. She's going to pull a rabbit out of her hat. I'm going to pull a rabbit out of my hat. No, I'm not of that. Okay, so I've got this and the white. Or I could do magic tricks. Uh oh. We're in trouble if you're going to do that. Okay. So I'm going to leave this for just a second. I want to cover this up so I don't lose those templates. I got to show you this kit, okay? <laughs> With the kid is this control. is the one that's on sale. It is called Star Spangled Sweetie. Okay. This shows you what the templates come with it. There's a <laughs> QR code that you can scan with your smartphone, not a computer, with your smartphone. And then it will give you ideas that you can download for free. There's a digital idea book created just for you in this paper kit. Okay. All right. So you don't have to worry. Grace. You don't have to worry when you get this to be overwhelmed. But in the Gracie, hey now. In the industry, and I'm not just saying this because I, I I'm a QLA credit credit partner. In the industry, this is probably the biggest bang for your buck and the easiest to work with. And it's not a one and done. Like a lot of companies, once you create it, you're done, right? Nothing else. These you get your templates, okay? I'll show you those in a minute, but you get a set of templates that you can use over and over. Now, each monthly kit is built similar to this, but they may give you, like these come with some little, little bitty dies. They may give you a title. They may give you some yarn, uh, whatever it is to create um, and recreate some of their ideas. They'll give you extras, okay? So I'm going to show you the little bitty cards here. Stephanie Paulson said she was also curious about the QR stickers. She's made free codes online yes. and printed them out for her layouts. You can do that but too. Ready to go stickers would be amazingly. Yes. Amazing. The difference is you only get one minute, but there's four in a package for five bucks. That's pretty cheap. If you think about it, you can do four minutes actually on your page if you used all four what we heard from other people when you did them that one time was people were doing pictures like of their grandparents or yeah before they passed they got them to maybe just record them saying hello and you know right you're or, able to or even memorialize that forever or even a little slide video like if you do um like say you just got little little snippets of pictures you could make a little video of those and put that on there too so many things Okay, it's a good day to be happy. And on the back is yes, like a cream. Is. Here's a journal card. And these you can use if you pocket scrapbook, you can use them for pocket scrapbooking. If you use them for cards. You can cut out you, template on. Yes, you could use these to cut your templates on, lay over top like the little stars I'm doing. Here's one, Star Spangled Sweetie. Back is a blue. Here comes the parade. Sweet summer days with cherries. Sweet land of liberty. And it's kind of a grayish blue. That is unique. You don't see that color often. The sweet life. Little blue with stars. Life is a bowl of cherries. Make it sweet. And you've got red. And then here's one. Happy birthday, America. Summer picnic. And it's red on the back. Here's American made. And blue. Okay. It's like the Oak Ridge Boys. Yep. Okay. And then you get all these little bitty... So find where it goes. We'll just cut it. USA. He sings, you guys. He always does, never fails. He sings. I cut him. He goes sounds like a cat caught in a boot, and he's still singing. Okay, all right. You got two of those. You got two of those. What are they? Poker chips? 
Oh, they're little dice. You get two of those. Dice. And you got one of these little bitty things. Yep, little die. Die cuts, little die cuts. Okay, we're going through this. There's pinwheel paper. Blue with tone on tone. It looks like little flowers almost. Oh, I love this. This is bandana. Look at that, paisley. Here's red with little bitty flowers on that tone on tone. Look at that plaid. White and red on the blue. And this one's like a cream color. And of course, with the cherries, look at that. You got cherry paper and green. And then this mosaic, That's chevrons. Pretty. Yeah, that is really pretty. On the back's red, tone on tone. And this is kind of a, uh, it's not pure white. It's kind of a creamy white with all the little different color polka dots. You've got the green with the stars. Like now, cake. these are your backgrounds, okay? You get so these two. So they're pretty cardstock, right? Yes. They're yep. I can make a fan and fan myself. Okay. So if you don't like that one, you get that one. Okay. That's one. Well, you get one of each. Yep. You've got this one. This is that grayish blue color. I love this. Okay. But if you don't like that, you got cream. All right. And then you've got this one. It kind of looks like linen. And if you don't like that, you get red. All right. So that is the paper. Now, let me pull the, let me turn over to the dark. And let's do the templates. Again, the QR code is here. So if you missed it on the front, it's here that you can scan over with your phone, get all kinds of ideas. And um, it, I don't know if this one has the featured, sometimes they're on there recently, they've been putting a featured set that you can use with it. So if you do join the kit club, you, you'll get all kinds of ideas with what templates to use too. Sonia and, offered a comment. Okay. She said that it's 80 pound paper. 80 pound. That is, and the kit comes with 12 sheets, 11 title cards, and all American designer templates. Yep. And this specific kit was used with the Farmstead a la carte. The Farmstead, that's that truck. Awesome. Okay, so here's your templates. This is five of five all American. It's a border. You can put it there, however you want. You could even it's go across the middle if you wanted to and just extend it out. All right, and then here's those stars that I used. Got that one and that one. Okay. That little one fits inside the big one, don't it? Yep, it do, it do. And what you can do also, if you don't want to cut that inside out, leave the whole thing like that. Take this one and trace it out of a different paper and put it on top, just pop it up. And then you got elevator. elevator. Here's the pinwheel. It was on that front page. And you got cherries. Do you know how expensive a die is with cherries? And you got it right there in the template. Okay. So that is the Star Spangled Sweetie. It's on sale for $25 for this whole thing with all the little cards, all the dies. During this month. During this month. Okay. Well, let me grab Liberty real quick because it's only until midnight. Lee, I'm going to hand you this one. Or I got it. Okay. Let me Grace, grab. You'll take it if you yeah, want. Yeah, I know. I don't want that to happen. Let me grab Liberty. Land of the free. Here we Liberty. go. Okay. Liberty, go. Liberty, Liberty. All right. These are on sale till midnight. How much was the price, Lee? They're 50% off. Eugene, $7.50. Okay. $7.50. $7.50 for these. Okay. I mutilated that, but I'm excited about it. Okay. So here's what you get in I Liberty. Well, I have two sets. This is the other one. I have a backup just in case. So here's that one we made the title card. Here's the United States. And this is a swoosh, which is really cool. You got the Liberty Bell. Where's the rest of them? Uh-oh, I'm missing them. Nice. I'm missing no, one. No, it's not there. I got one over here on the other side. I'll grab it. Okay. And club members. So get two, three, three four. On your orders of $25 or more. I'm missing two. Sonia put that in there. No, what now? 
that club members don't forget you get free shipping on orders of twenty five dollars or more. Yes. So that's just another perk you get if you were in the monthly kit course. Oh boy. But while you look for that, I got a couple of comments I can read. Okay. Yes. Okay. Is that okay? Yep. Go for well, it. Well, Stephanie said she's curious about the QR stickers. She made them, and this made amazingly easily. She said, I load videos to YouTube as unlisted, and I make codes a lot for my pages. School concerts, dance recitals, karate tournaments, cheer competitions. There you go. But many are more than a minute, so the limit's good to know when you use the stickers. Yep. And Deborah Johnson said, I've done the same, Stephanie, but that sticker QR uh, sounds super simple. And she has a toddler grandson. She gets more videos than she gets pictures lately. Yeah. And it's fun to hear the little voice of that after this layout. Yep. And what's great is someday when they get married, you can play those at their wedding when you do the power. Definitely. Playing. Definitely. Embarrass them for. <laughs> All right. So here we go. Liberty one. Liberty two, Liberty three, Liberty four, Liberty five, six, seven. Those are the templates in the Liberty set. Okay, guys, that's on sale till midnight tonight. And I'm probably gonna see if I can get a couple more. So. You have misplaced some pieces. No, what happened to those? Your grandkids play with them? Nope, that one's never was open. We'll find out. We'll find out. Okay. So now we need to finish. Huh? We need to finish this. And I'm going to use, get, get a hold of it, on the Everyday Adventures. If you guys have any more questions on those um, templates or the kit, too, if there's anything else you want to see again, just let us know. The rest of this, I'm going to finish up in the same manner that. I in the same paper that I did that tiny star. Okay. We're going to do this again so that they have the same colors. Okay. That one is done. And then this one goes on to the white glitter. And I'm not, I'm going to actually use my egg slice and I'm going to cut out the center of this star and we'll use this somewhere else. That's one thing nice about having that slice that you can use it in um, you don't have to worry you don't waste the paper cutting poking a hole and cutting it. Okay, so there's that one. We'll cut this one. And also, too, you guys, some of you know that I do lives for the store every Sunday night, and that's on Scrap Mania Facebook page. So if you're not doing anything on Sunday night, we'd love to have you join us at five o'clock. And we usually show some of the new product that has come in. I don't, I don't actually work for the store. I don't have. I don't own it, but I do teach there. I teach Kiwi Lane. We do stay in plays. The next one will be the 29th. I think it's the last Saturday of July. And we do it from 10 till four on that day. And then I won't be doing one in August, in September possibly, but right now it looks like maybe October will be when we get back into a schedule since we're traveling. And we may post, and if we're near you, let us know, and we'll stop by. We'll take you out for dinner, and we can talk and ask any questions you want uh, about my scrapbooking. I usually have a book with me, so you guys can look at the book. They do look better in person than on online. So anyway, my husband stepped out. Not sure where he went. <laughs> so I can't read. I have no idea what you guys are saying because he's got the computer on the other side of the room. So I'll just keep talking. You keep commenting. When he comes back, we'll catch up. So I had a great time with Darlene Timmons there at Grand Rivers. We went to Cracker Barrel, met her husband, Harlan, and 
she had a notepad with questions down that she wanted to ask and I think we covered them all. So it's one thing nice about having the motor home. We can travel to you guys too. And like I said, I'll be in Lebanon, Tennessee coming up. Ooh, where did I do that one? There it is. And uh, I'll be actually going with the lady that taught me how to scrapbook. Her name is Janet. And she's actually my daughter's mother-in-law now. And uh, we get together and it's like old times, so. You left us, high and dry. Yes, I did. Is Gracie still in here? Yes. Okay. All right. You got the other two dogs right now outside of the door. I told. Two granddaughters. <laughs> they're waiting. <laughs> I told him that just to keep coming and we'd catch up. I said, I'm just talking here to myself. Yeah. Uh, Linda Brock, she wants to know, how do you guys organize your, or how do you organize your templates? I have close to my heart um, envelopes, the small ones, and that's what most of my sets are in. I had that already before the Totally Tiffany came out. The Totally Tiffany system is a great system. Um, can so, you get those to Kiwi yet? Or? I think so. If not, you can get them at our store too. She has a bunch in the different um, pockets or sleeves they call them but then linda has a nice roll case that's fireproof and everything where okay so it is fireproof are. it's flood proof but when the tornado siren goes off it's not windproof so it's the first thing to go to the basement <laughs> but okay so i'm taking my slice i'm going to cut that star out so we can use it somewhere else okay What's she chewing on? Her wood block. Oh, my chair is moving. Well, she's got pushed against the. Oh, the that's. Legs. Okay. Linda's chair has a vibrator thing built in, but she had that going. She'd been asleep. <laughs> yeah, this is not the most comfortable chair, but it does. Like you it said, it has heat, vibrate. In the she wintertime, it's set nice. On the edge up toward the front, uh, of leaning back and scooting up underneath. Yep. Almost done here. See how quick and easy this is with this slice? And you don't have to worry about cutting your fingers. Like I said, I don't go as deep as I probably should, but. That's definitely an attribute, isn't it? Uh, yeah. It's just some places I missed. Look how easy that's coming out of there. All righty, there we go. We'll stick that back there. This goes here. That is so cool. Okay, and we've got one here. I'll put it somewhere. All right, I'll figure out where I'm doing. I gotta ink them, get them down, ink, ink. and then we can start gluing, and then we're done. Charlene said that was the first thing when we got together with Linda that after a hug, I wanted to see was how she stored her templates. Mine are all now in the same fireproof box. <laughs> well, you think about it. You invest all your time effort and money. money into something and you want it to be protected um it may not it may who knows for sure but i'm not taking a chance so and I, it gives me comfort to know that they're protected now this one you know what we could do this would be a cool idea Give me a second to ink this, and then I'll show you. Linda so Brock the, wants to know, are you guys coming to Florida? Yes, we are coming to Auburndale in January and Tampa area. So, yes, we will be there. If you're close to that, let us know, and we'll try to catch up with you. All right, let me get what else I wanted to do here. Find it. Uh oh. This screen over here. Uh oh. If I smack okay. it, I might not lose my connection. So I got right. a mess. So I'm going to take this red and I'm going to make a circle. You guys already know what I'm doing, don't you? A circle mm -hmm. of that template. All right. Put it away from the paper. All right. 
We'll cut it just a little smaller than the actual pencil mark. Linda said she's in St. Petersburg, right over the bridge from Tampa. Okay. We've well, been there. We went to the big uh, hotel down the water. It begins with a V, like Victor. Um, not the Viceroy, but it's something like a real old kind of Spanish-looking hotel. We were there. I had a conference there probably 15, 17 years ago. Hmm. Vinoy, that's it. Vinoy. Woohoo! All right. Linda went with me on that one. It was nice. I did not. Oh, I remember that pink building. Do a little bit on the inside. <laughs> but yes, it had some pink to it. All right. Barely art glue. This and the art glitter glue. She lives close to the Benoni. Awesome. All right. So private message me your address and we will we will make it an effort to stop and see you. Okay. This one, they both dry clear. The art glitter glue. Once it goes on, you have a matter of seconds to get it in place where you need it, okay? The Barely Art Glue, however, does give you a little more time. It gives you a little more time. All right, and I love the tip, the fine tip on it. Oop. That's what this pin's for, is to unclog it. And I don't think I hit it all the way in. There we go. Okay. And then we just go around. We'll get all these glued down. So we got that one. Which will we'll go like here. Hard to see. There we go. Okay. And we're going to do some pop up that elevate. Work, that work for those from Texas, Leslie and San Antonio and others. Woohoo. Okay. Star of Texas is upon you. <laughs> Of course, you need to make that orange instead of red. Oh, for like the longhorns? For okay. Texas. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put about four of these elevators, Lee calls them, but they are so popped on. Elevate from one level to another. Yes. And they're square. I don't know why they call them pop dots. Right? Well, that's a good question. I don't know. That's what they call them. Okay. And that one goes in the middle of this. That's just the engineer me coming out, I guess. <laughs> All right, we are cooking here. We are going to get this done so everybody can get to bed. Let me get a little more centered. There we go. And when you get this all stuck down, you will end up blinging it all up. You yes. might not do all that blind, but you will post it with everything that you did and will yes. do. And what definitely. you used. Definitely, definitely. And I like to doodle. So there's that one. I like to doodle on my layouts with I use gold, silver, black, white. Been known to use colored gel pens too. Okay, there's that one. We've got a plain white one. Did we have any more? Nope. Okay, I'm gonna lay that off to the side and pray I don't lose it. Let's get these down. I did not ink the burlap. I got to ink the burlap real quick. Now, to ink burlap, what you want to do is don't try to go on the edge like this, like I do with the other ones. Actually, go on top and pat. Because if you don't, it's going to um, fray on you. So just tap on it the top. It a lot of little pieces. Yes, it like will. You if you do it that right now, actually. You, it's not too bad. Uh, there's my lid. Okay. Here we go. It's going down. Now, if you want to, you can mat your pictures also. Oh, I didn't need these. Shoot. I'll get those in a minute. Let's get this down. Right. You think you should mat the pictures? I'll just see in a minute. Maybe. I don't know. We'll just see. Okay, this goes in the middle. That and I do want to turn this here. Start with the base pieces when you're adhering everything. Sometimes people like to do them one at a time. So, like if you finish one, you go ahead and stick it down. Sometimes I do, and sometimes I don't. Though sometimes I don't, 
is if I'm not sure that's exactly where I want to put it. Does that make sense? Okay, this one's first. And if you have an ATG gun, also too, um, the store has really inexpensive um, refills. They're like three bucks. And it's, it, it sticks a long time. Spoiler for life is saying good night, everyone. All right, good Thank night. Thank you so much for joining us. And go Boilermakers. <laughs> All right, we'll put this one on. All right. We should probably change, see if we could change the time just a tad earlier. Boiler up, she said. <laughs> Yeah, well, if you get too early, then the people yeah, are less close, they'll still work. Because it's, it's really five o'clock when you start now out there. They're just getting off. Mm -hmm. and you know how I'm coming home on a Friday night. I, was from work. I know. I know. But Kiwi Lane just said we can do that. Uh, I think we just got to look at it and let you guys make the decision what's the best time. Yeah. I know for those on the East Coast, it gets late for them, especially when we'll get to a Thursday night. But we also gotta be mindful of those on the West Coast. Yeah. What we could do is do two, right? Two? Yeah. You could do one early one and then like going to the movie, you know, you do one <laughs> show and another. <laughs> we could do that. <laughs> Don't forget. Mark your calendar, the second Thursday now, starting in August, is when we'll be live. And to be honest with you, we will be on the road at that time. Where are we going to be at August 10th, Daddy? Well, unless we break down, we're going to be in Watford City. Okay. North Dakota. All right. So I'm going to leave it there like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'll cut it once I get all of it on and then it'll all be even that's right. a good point son you said this that's the beauty of this event it's being recorded so if it doesn't work for everyone in their schedule the lecture is that it's recorded right so. right and remember guys um uh, you all registered you just register for the live and you'll automatically get the replay this so. just takes a few days before it's available yeah. but if you aren't sure you can make it or not i'd still sign up for the live and because you'll, if not, you can sign up for the recorded only, but you get to record it if you do the live, so. And if there's some kind of a subject that you guys are looking for, please let us know. Or any special yeah, techniques. Yeah, or, or any special kind of paper that you want. I have a big stash. So whatever works for you guys, okay? There's something you want to see. Let us know, because I will create it for you. Stephanie said, woohoo, I just finished a layout. I'm working on a Christmas, <laughs> but this one got me motivated to create. So. Awesome. Which is part of what it is. That's all why about. we do what we do. Okay. Put this one down. I'm going to use a little bit of. And Sonia said, I'd always choose the live option. So you get the reminders yep. and an update to what products Linda's using. So yes. uh, from to you, choose the live. Okay, I'm gonna put that right on Lee's head. So I know where it is. Okay, I'm gonna get these pictures. On my head. Oh, no, no, it's on your Lee head. Greenwood. I'm sorry, yeah, like, what are you Lee doing? Greenwoods. Anyway, Darlene Knudsen said, way to go, Stephanie. We all went woohoo. <laughs> That's awesome. That's a good feeling, isn't it? And if you do the basic one that I start out with, it goes so quick and you can get tons done. Well, you asked for ideas, so now they're coming. You're going go to have for to it. go through. Go for you it. You have to go back when you play it back. But Julie H says, How about a cruise or tropical layout? Okay. Linda's not a cruise girl, no. but I'll bet she can get some pictures of some that do. And tropical, you definitely could. Yep. Maybe we'll just have to go to Florida more. <laughs> Southern Florida. I hear it. Okay. 
Darlene Knutson said, I just worked on a vision board and now I'm organizing. Watch it. It's very motivating. Good. That's what we like to hear. That's what we like to hear. No problem. Um, Anya. She leaving? I ain't going to answer. You just concentrate. With <laughs> okay. I'll keep concentrating. Yes, yeah, she is. She's All good. right. Good night, girl. All right. Thank you, you oh too. My. It's beautiful. I'm going to head out. All right. You have a good night and, and be safe. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, Linda Brock said, how about school layouts? Oh, perfect. We can do that. We can do that. Not specific. Could be grade school, preschool, high school, college, Sunday school, truck driving school. Truck driving school. RV classes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You're funny. No, I'm serious. I know you're serious. I need to decide serious. which one I want to put there. That one. Okay. So we'll get some pop up. Pop up, pop up, pop up. Elevators, as Lee calls it. And you know, when, when I doodle on this, it gives it a whole different perspective. Let me tell you. Kindergarten through college, Lily said. Kindergarten through college. Okay. The school. You writing all this down, dear? Nope. You better remember it for me. I'll remember some of it, but you can play it back when you watch it. <laughs> We gotta glue that. Let me ink these real quick. We're close. We are so close. And then I'm gonna put some gems on it. If you have enamel dots, gems, buttons, any little kind of a trinket thing, when you add those to your layout, it it just makes a big difference. Puts a uh, multi-dimension. Yes. Or you can use twine and in your layouts. Oh, and I did want to show you one more thing. So you know how sometimes you have to cut off a little bit of a strip off of your edge of your paper? Okay, well. Marlene said you had the perfect photos for this one. Oh, uh, you're welcome. Okay, so the strips that you cut off with the, um, from the paper, you know, has the code on the back. What you can do is sometimes you can take those, look at that, and you can just put that there. And then I'll take the other one, and then I won't have to go all the way under, but I'll just go up to that. That makes a difference. Just do it like this for now. That might even be kind of cool. Look at that. That is pretty slick. All right. Now, if you have to cut a tiny, tiny strip like this, right? It's like usually it goes in the trash. Oh, no, no, no. Don't throw it away. If you're working with good paper. Look at this. You can make paper bows. Linda Brock wants to know when we're going to be in Florida. It's going to be the rally we're going to go to at the Margaritaville Resort. And Auburndale starts on January the 10th. Uh, so we'll be coming in probably a day before that, but somewhere in that area um, we'll be coming in. And we have the, uh, I think the Tampa Super Show that we're going to go to is the week later on the 17th. It ends up on the 21st. And we're probably going to hang around in Florida for a little bit. We'll probably be down there till about early February or may depend on whether i want to get home or not <laughs> lee has already started the process he's um retiring here at 65 in other words next year is. could go for one more year but we don't know these two yet okay and then okay put this one down Do you guys see what the difference is between a basic and a zhuzh? <laughs> uh, okay, use that one. Let me get this one down. Close, close, close. Okay, we'll put this one here. And then this here. 
I'm gonna put those strips down. Got them all. Those little tab things are annoying. Oh, okay. Put that there. One more. And uh, what else, Lee? Can we tell them real quick? What's going on? Oh, uh, Scrap Mania here at the store has a crop in September and November that'll be at a hotel. So if you if you want a little trip to take, check out the Facebook page on that. Okay, I'm just gonna run the ink down this really quick. Uh, Bunny has to go to. Okay, Michigan. night. You guys have a good night. Got about four more things here to get down. We're done. Are we making it towards the two hour mark? Yes, Almost we there. are. A few okay. minutes to go. A few minutes to go. And then what I'm gonna do is take the sticker sheet and I'll take some of the stickers off and make my own ephemera and put a couple of little words on there. There was one proud to be an American, which is in part of his song, God bless him, or USA. God bless the USA. Our use. That is a journal spot. Darlene wants, to, can you tell a little bit about the keepsake event? The keepsake. Oh, the, the, are you talking about the one there at Scrap Media? The, no, what, the keepsake. keepsake? Oh, the CKC. Okay, so it's in Lebanon, Tennessee, and I believe it's a, either a three or four day event. It's if like you, the 20th, 21st. Yes. If you look up CKC Lebanon, Tennessee, Creative Keepsakes Convention, You'll see all the uh, different ones that they have, and you want to go to the one in Lebanon. And there's there's classes you can take. There are the shopping is phenomenal. Is that the County Fairgrounds. Yes. In Lebanon. Yes. And it's in the Farm Ag Building. I think they call it. It's a really nice building. And so we usually the, it's got the big area, kind of like the Mega Meat has, where. Yes. You have all the different vendors set up with their tables and you can shop and buy, but then they have these other rooms that Linda's talking about we do where classes. they have different kind of seminars and they have a crop event, I believe. Yep. And it was the kind of event where I, I met Kiwi Lane for the first time. So um, it's a lot of fun. There's a crop usually uh, that you can go to. There's hotels close by and they have a nice big area there where I can just park the motorhome and yep. we just stay right on the grounds and Linda can go, come and go as she wants. Okay. And Darlene Knudsen said she went to the Creating Keepsakes in South Carolina recently. She loved it. Oh, uh, yeah. I would love it in South Carolina too. That's a neat place. Okay. Oops. Okay. We got the USA to get down, the America to get down. Uh. Nikki Winter says, I will be there. Registration is open now yes. to register for classes, vendor fair, early bird purchase, et cetera. It's been going uh, to these since about 2006. I know Linda is at CKC you go to in Collinsville. Yes. Colorado, yes. St. Louis area, but we went, we didn't go last year to. Columbia. No, we before. had something else. Oh. And so, yeah, I don't think Linda's going to do a whole bunch of things there, but she wants to go and just be shopping kind of free. So maybe <laughs> she can meet meet up. We have to go back and watch, honey, the Nikki Winters. Okay. Gibbs. Uh, maybe you guys can hook up or something. Um, I tell you what, there's always a good place to go there, too. It's called the Donut Palace. The make the best donuts. Love it. Make sure those are all off. Yep. I'm sure they're not good for you. But no. Sure taste might be okay, fun. so I popped this one up. And thanks for the address, Linda Brock. We'll make sure we try to make that happen. Yes. Okay, so I've got this little bow. I've got another one here. Oh, these are bows you made? These are made out of the little strips that I cut off of the paper. Just paper. That's all it is. Don't cut yourself. No, 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 no. You know, like when you trim and stuff. you say, oh, still not enough, right? So just take your paper. If you don't have twine, you can use paper and just make it however you want. See that? Darlene Knudsen says she really loves the make and takes. They also had some of the booths. 
Yeah. There are several of those. And usually you can set what, about six people down there, most of those. They usually have like one table at the booths that sponsor those. Okay. I'll glue that down later. I'll glue this one. These are already down. Nope, that one's not down. And like Nikki said, you can, they're fun to learn new tips and products. So I think that's all great. Too. Oh, yeah. Only Definitely. thing I don't like when Linda goes to them, she buys a lot of stuff and then the coat sags. The ones no. No, 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 no. Okay, we have one little white star left. When you do hit the break point where you get most of it down, you probably want to hold them up a little bit too because it's hard to yep. see the detail. I can do that. I'm going to pop this one. Pop, pop, pop. Nope. No, it's a black. These things do come in black, just so you know. Some of the make and takes can cost five bucks, but she <laughs> tips, products, meeting friendly, like minded people. It's kind of like us going to an RV rally, people that have the same common interest. Yep. Um, you can just really make some lifelong friendships. It's really great. Definitely. Okay. Here's what you slice, less, less. Here's where this was really handy. What is this? This is the slice. slice. I'm just going down, right down where the seam is. Darling, this is it. exactly. Okay, we'll pick this up. We had some people drop off, but uh, it's all right. Thank you, Eric, and the replay. Ball was getting together all Lebanon, Tennessee, and other areas. And you don't have to do it this way. You can do it however you want. That's how I did it. Okay. And then we'll glue this on. I might cut that off just a tad. Okay. Giving it a trim job? Giving it a trim job. Using the same glue that is. Yep, the Barely Art glue. And we're going to stick it right there. I'll hold it a minute, let it get stuck. All right. And I think we have used it all. Oh. Are you sure? Nope. We got these. That's okay. And the QR code. So, what I'm going to do with the QR code is I'll probably put it on one of these stars. So it looks like a little music note on like one of these is where I'll do it. But you can hide it if you want, or you can just put it out in the middle if you want. What whatever, whatever you float your boat, I guess. So, and then these, I gotta glue that down. These can go anywhere. You can put them around this. And the color is so much better live than yes. on the video. But it's all right. We got this. Darlene Kadutza says, wow, I really love your layout. Very impressed. Thank you for teaching all of us. Oh, you are so welcome. But you guys teach Linda too. As she's yes, doing I love watching yours too. Oop. And you guys give a lot of ideas. Stay there, little boy. Stay there. Okay. And you guys can unmute at any time and talk yes, also. Yes, anytime. Quite handy also. Okay, we'll do this one Crack here. Crack your She needs to do things differently. Okay. Well, you guys get the idea Linda where you want to do the stars. I love it. Awesome. All right. Well, we're just going to stop there and I'll finish playing with it later. Uh, you guys have a great night. I appreciate each and every one of you. I really do. And thank you for your support and following us. And don't forget about the specials. The Liberty's only good till midnight, 50% off. Don't forget about the uh, Star Spangled Sweetie Kit. It's only $25. Till the end of the month. Till the end of the month on that one. And yep. also, don't forget about second Thursday of the month. Yep. Starting, starting in August. August. Linda will be moving her. What do we call Crop and talk. Crop and talk. Right. If you have any other questions, feel free to message me. You can friend me on Facebook and definitely look for me in the community. Uh, there's a lot of things going on in the Kiwi Lane community. Um, and if you don't have a creative partner, uh, Lee's posted the link in here. So um, love to have you join. Um, and I guess that's it, right? Sounds good. I have to put a title down here. So be watching for that. We'll do it. Lori Cox. God bless USA. With you, so. Awesome. Thank you so much, everyone. 
All right. You guys have a wonderful weekend and we will see you in August. Happy scrapping. <laughs>